Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's go over to the Battle on Town Square because we're going to be checking out the new Mogloween collection. I have not yet seen this in the game, so there it is right there. You also have access to Dr. Trollenstein's lab. We'll check that out in a minute, but let's check this out first. So we have a travel form, Witch on a Broom, and this is... Oh my goodness. That is so cool. And they have Warlock on a broom as well there we go that is so neat wow that is really crazy we got some pets to check out let's check this one here this oh wow this is not what i was expecting i was expecting a reskin of the travel form but that is not a reskin and this is adorable look at that little scarf around his neck that is so cute we have a bow Ooh. That is so awesome. Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. And we have a rod. Which, oh, dang it. It's not going to show. Is that because I'm not? Uh, crap. We've also got a bobber. Look at that. That is adorable. And then, of course, you have the broom thing. Now, Darkon had made this, the bat wing. That is really awesome. You have... Xandar's Fire Spike Broom. Oh, okay. I see. An upgraded one. And then, of course, you have the entire Gordian set. I will be showing you that set anyway, so I don't have to show you it individually. We have a Wish. Holy moly. Now, obviously, this must be for the... That's just upgraded, but it's really cool. This is Dr. Bloodstone thing. I'm going to be showing you the full set for that as well. So I'm just going to be purchasing the entire collection right here. It's 4,900 for the full thing. Now you could buy these things individually, but if you're doing the math, just these two alone is going to be almost 4,000. And then if you're purchasing this thing here, that's 1,000 by itself. So coupling it with this, not to mention all of the other stuff that you get with it. So it is a pretty good deal to go and purchase the entire thing if you're wanting some of the pieces out of here. So we're just going to grab that right there. Now if you did buy the collection, all you got to do is go into your inventory and then just use it. And you're going to be getting yourself a badge. We got a new title that came with that. Let's check out the new title. You get the Ice Cream for Mogloween as your title and that is a pretty cool title that you can get there and let me grab out some of that stuff so here we go this is the complete set right here of the gordian knight and it is just a really amazing looking set now that is with the gordian knight helm i don't have this one on so let me put this one on well let me just preview it oh i see and here's the fishing rod right here as you can see that is a really nice fishing rod i really love that and there's the bobber right there that is really awesome and there we are with the mogloween bow that is one epic looking bow i really love that they've added that so let's check out the travel forms here so we'll go with the which of the broom which on the broom i should say first so there we go which is on the broom and vroom, there we go she is shooting through the air and let's check it out with the warlock and see what that's like so there's the warlock hovering in the air and here he is shooting off through the thing that is epic i love that and here we are with dr bloodstone this is the full dr bloodstone set and that is a scary looking thing look at his face and everything whoa now like i said dr trollenstein's lab is available so we're gonna be checking that out right now but there are some other armor sets i am going to be showing you so make sure you stick around till the end of this video when i'm going to be showing you those armor sets let's jump over to dr Trollenstein's lab. Now if you guys are enjoying this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. So we're going to be going into here you can talk to this guy right here and you're going to have some new stuff in here that you can get as well as the old stuff which we can check out some of this stuff here like the tool belt. That's the belt right there. You've got a nice clean lab coat and then one of my favorite things was this claw. Really like that plus the little back piece right here very nice and you've got some new stuff i have not actually seen this in the game so let's check that out 
And then you have some armor bat wings, and these are like my favorite wings in the game right now. These are amazing. Look at these. These are amazing. So cool. And then the helmet. Oh, man. That is just crazy good. I, I even love those. Everything about these. Look at those boots. Wow. These are mind-blowing. I did not expect them to look that good. What am I looking at here? Oh, the belt. Okay, the belt. Obviously, the texture. <laughs> they're not quite finished. They've, uh, they've been untextured. That's funny. So let me give you guys an example of this dungeon if you guys have not yet done this dungeon. So welcome to my laboratory. And this is, of course, this is on the team version on the easy mode. You've got this little guy right here. He's up in a little bubble. Protect. Wait. I don't remember Mort ever being there before. Was he always there? Maybe he was. So you'll have some waves of enemies that you're going to be taking down. Make sure, of course, to grab the experimental chunks that you're getting because that's what you're going to be using to purchase all those things that you want in the craft shop. You got some lasers coming out of those big skelly eyes. That's really cool. But make sure you avoid those when you're in the challenge area. Now, like I said, this is in the easy area, so it's not as difficult as it is in the challenge one. The challenge is a much more difficult fight. Basically, you're avoiding saws and a bunch of other stuff. Let's grab those. Oh, no. Pumpkin attack. Oh, there we go. I think now this is the boss, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a whole year since I've done this dungeon. And the boss is down for the count, grabbing... Oh, hey, look at that. I got this spooky Van Pragen. That is one of the drops you can get. Now, unfortunately, it's Guardian only, but if you are a Guardian, you're going to want to grab that. And you're also going to be getting a baby experimental chest, or, well, an experimental chest. I don't know if it's a baby version always or if it's random but you're going to be getting some stuff out of there like the schematics so make sure you grab those if you're wanting those now we're going to head into a miss croft town because there is a couple more armor sets that i mentioned which you can get right here in this town so we're going to be talking to this person right here and if you scroll down or is it is it down or is it up i don't know oh it's right up on top i didn't even recognize the name of it so we get a belt right here. That's the belt and all the stuff here you can get for candy. You're simply going to be needing candy. This is a really nice hat. And what's cool about this, look right there. You're going to be seeing a band-aid on his face, his or her face. And then you have the outfit. That is really smooth. The shoulders, which if you are not a fan of spiders, you're probably not going to be wanting this set because it obviously is in relation to spiders but i think it's awesome now that is not the only thing that is new in the town of miscroft you head right down here and you can talk to this guy right here and in the can well huh? empty box of candy i don't remember you can get candy from this is this a new daily i think this is a new daily we do have some stuff in here empty box of candy what oh so it is new because i don't remember that so this is the candy apple mace. Let's check. Ooh, that looks delicious. Sword of candy corpion. Cornean. Cornea? Cornea. This is awesome and delicious. We've got the pumpkin staff. Uh, this is the thing. I was expecting this to be in the collection because it's worthy of it. But I'm surprised. And then you get these things here. Now, these are body suits. As you can see, some of them require candy fish and some of them require these pumpkin puffers. If you're wondering where you can get those, I will be showing you where you can get those. But let's check this out. So this is the suit right here. Very awesome. Very impressed by that. And let's check out the... We won't check out each one. We're just... Whoa, holy moly. That is vibrant. Ooh, purple. Let's... Oh, that's cool. Nice. And then, of course, you've got the gourd bobber now you're gonna need a hundred puffers for this one that'll be going whoa holy that is even better than the one they got in the collection it's a reskin of the one in the collection but it's better so that is really cool wait a minute when the heck was there a raven up there i don't ever remember seeing a raven up there that might be new maybe i don't know let's go 
up over here. And this is where you can do some serious fishing if you're wanting to catch yourself some of these stuff here. So the levels here are, you've got level 100. Is it all? It's all level 100. Okay. So basically, you just need to fish at the fountain and anybody, I think, just about anybody, will be able to fish here and you'll be catching yourself some fish. And I got some, I got a candy fish. So there you go. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.